We're expecting a little bit of a break in the heat a little bit tomorrow with the return of some scattered showers and thunderstorms across southeast Texas. Not this evening though, looks pretty quiet. So we look at our roofing 911 sky cam network. We have partly cloudy skies, another hot day with temperatures well into the 90s. Now the scattered showers and storms, the good news returning tomorrow, about a 40% coverage. So close to half the area seeing some showers. They'll be hit and miss, but at least there'll be some around. Not like yesterday where we didn't have hardly anything at all. 30% coverage on Thursday. Thursday still it dries out a little bit heading into the weekend and back up to 30% for Sunday. So at least every few days the rain chances are there, even though they're scattered type showers and thunderstorms. Radar pretty quiet this evening, but not the case to our east. Now the showers and thunderstorms are winding down as we zoom into the eastern Louisiana area around Baton Rouge back down to Morgan City. Reason I'm showing this is because this is the upper level disturbance in the moisture that's heading westward. That'll give us that chance of rain coming up tomorrow. You can already see the high clouds working in from the east. Otherwise, temperatures are in the lower to mid 90s across the area. The rest of the state pretty hot to 100 in Waco, 100 in Dallas. Look at all the triple digits in northwest Texas. Lower 100s on the Rio Grande, and there's that disturbance to our east. You can see it tracking to the west. That'll give us those scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Once again, about a 40% coverage. See, right now we're on the edge of some of the best moisture off to our east, but it is spreading to the west, and that is certainly great news. Especially that deeper moisture spreading west. You can see it on an animation a little bit better here. This is moisture through the entire atmosphere. So uh, we could see as much as a 50% coverage coming up tomorrow, but looks like about half the area is seeing showers. And if you one of the lucky ones to get some showers tomorrow, about a quarter to a half inch looks to be about the average and but no rain expected tonight. Looks like a quiet evening. Temperature starting out in the 80s will fall into the 70s though later tonight. No rain expected. We'll start out tomorrow morning. Very warm. Last couple of mornings we've been in the upper 70s for lows. That's above normal for our nighttime lows, by the way. Notice throughout the morning a few showers beginning to develop still mainly off to our east though. But as we head throughout the day, watch the showers increase from the southeast and east working on in and anything that does develop tomorrow will be ending by tomorrow evening once we lose daytime heating with those highs tomorrow low to mid 90s. Your marine forecast that water temperature at 86 degrees sees two to three feet and we'll have south winds up to about 15 knots. Mostly clear, no rain tonight. Lows will be in the mid to upper 70s and for tomorrow that 40% coverage scattered showers and thunderstorms highs will be in the lower 90s. So maybe a degree or two cooler tomorrow 10 day forecast starting out tomorrow with our best chance of rain looks like out of the next 10 about a 40% coverage still 30% on a Thursday. That's still some scattered showers though and for Friday a 20% coverage and the same for Saturday. Then it kind of goes back up a little bit again to 30% for Sunday. Highs will be in the low to mid 90s, lows at night, mid to upper 70s. So Jordan, I know how much you're wanting the rain to keep your yard green. I'm trying to help you out tomorrow. <laughs>